and uh, there will be a petition uh, from the Shirley Papanui Community Board when we get to item um, uh, the clause 14. Uh, and I'd like somebody now to move. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Did I miss one? Sorry, I missed. Uh, um, uh, the, sorry, Derek McCulloch and, and Jenny Long on behalf of the Mount Pleasant Memorial Community Centre and Residents Association referring to clause uh, 21 uh, on your agenda. My apologies. Sorry about that. Uh, Nothing sorry. personal. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning and thank you for um, hearing our delegation. Um, as I said, I'm Derek McCullough and um, the reason we're here is to encourage you to be more generous than the person who wrote the council report when you get to it in the ap uh, application for some funding and also to convince you that we have a worthy case for such generosity. Um, I'll talk to the general points of um, the need, the social reasons, and then I will hand over to my colleague Jenny to talk about process, about the budget and any decisions like that, but also just to illustrate what capable hands your money will be in should you decide to give us um, an increased an amount. Uh, firstly, just a bit of a background. Um, there is a strong need for our community centre. Um, you might not other than the red zone suburbs was the most heavily hit suburb by, in the earthquake. We lost the demolition, a significantly num greater number than that for major rebuild. Um, so that's in the you'll know the difficult uh, issue that's going to be to replace these houses. It also meant significant people had to immediately and find alternative um, plans and it's also meant quite heavily community spirit and a community hall is quite large. Um, we are an active association. Um, since the earthquake we've provided quite a wide range of community services. We've started up a farmers market which is run without fail every Saturday. We have a monthly senior sing-along which is getting more and more people down and if there's one thing that can deal with post-earthquake it's singing some good old songs of, of a rainy afternoon. We've had cup of tea by the sea which um, you can call me Leanne. Okay, so I think you were Leanne at the time you um, <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Attended. I still am. <laughs> so uh, the status has changed. Um, we put post earthquake stress by the local GP, um, mm. Simon Wynne Thomas, which um, we had to turn people away because we couldn't fit them in our little temporary centre. So there is a need for that. We've hosted insurance talks um, for people to deal with insurance issues and we recently called the Estuary Festival which was very successful and is a celebration of all things estuarial. So we, we show that we are an active um, um, association that is really doing our best to um, support I believe we have a good track record in that we've been financially self-sustainable now for 60 years since the first residence group got together and built the hall on their own behalf. So we have shown that we can run a community without the need for uh, council support, uh, although we did have insurance pay for not being um, the best move we made. Um, we also believe that this is an efficient use of council funds in that for the amount that you would grant us, you will get a fully operational community centre at a fraction of the cost of what we see being quoted for other community centres uh, the left and right of us. So um, I think that's a, an important thing, um, a lot more than you're um, giving for. And also that it, it not only serves the Mount Pleasant community, but it will as uh, serve the community pretty much east of the Ferrymead Bridge. The, all the only community um, hall or facility of that nature in that whole area. And so we, we believe that there's a very um, strong 
call for a facility of that kind. We've done as well as we can with our little temporary classroom from St Thomas's, but it's, um, it's not going to do it for any longer. So I think, uh, and, and other community or other developments such as the, uh, the coastal pathway, we will become part of that um, facility as well by uh, having a, uh, one end of, a, of the coastal pathway being, being a hub. So that is the, the general reasons. I'll pass it over to my esteemed colleague, Jenny, to talk about process and the budget details. Thank you. Thank you very much and good morning. Um, the process that we've followed is a process of community consultation and fundraising together. So we're grateful for the money that we have been granted by the Christchurch Earthquake Appeal Trust and the Lotteries Community Facility. Um, from that, we drew up a brief and went through a request for proposal process with four architects. And in the end, we have selected a prefabrication um, project on the basis of cost and the usefulness of its functionality and the aesthetics of it. And we have appointed an architect, CMA Plus U, run by Chris Moller, with um, Dunning Thornton as structural engineers and E-Cubed as the services engineers. And after several iterations and toing and froing, um, we are now in a position where Chris Moller presented the developed design um, last week and in preparation for this meeting, Stanley Construction, which operates out of Waikato and is very closely, works very closely with um, Chris Moller's architect firm, has prepared us an estimate. It's not a final quote, but it is based on all of the quotes from the main subcontractors. And we have drawn back a little bit on our original proposal. We're now looking for 608 square metres. And the estimate at this stage is 2.9 million. It is smaller than the old community centre, but it's a better design. Um, instead of having four rentable spaces, we will now have six or seven rentable spaces. The timeline for it is that it should start August, September and be finished by January and February. We've got a project man manager and a planner in place. And in terms of contingencies, because there is a risk mitigation factor, we don't want to be borrowing money. Um, we've got a contingency in our budget for issues like piling. Currently it's 12 million, but who knows? We've got a factor in there for price escalation. And if need be, we will stage the project so that perhaps we just build the shell now with a minimum fit out, defer landscaping, and then perhaps stage the rest of the fit out as funds become available later on. So we would ask you to support this project for a relatively small investment. We get the ratepayers of Mount Pleasant and the wider area with a community centre. Thank you. Very good. So who would like to ask some questions? Uh, Jimmy? First one, except uh, you have applied for the funding from the Christchurch Earthquake Appeal Trust and Lottery Community Facility Grant. This has been the $1.25 million. Have you any the fundraising scheme or apply for some other source of funding based on your short shortage around the half a million? Are the other two... Um, Those are the two grants we've been given. Two grants that we've been given so far. This is the third application to the Appeal Trust and we have um, a lot of smaller uh, fundraising that goes on at a community level. Um, we have a stall at the community market where we sell honey. We do lots and lots of little things as well as going for the big ticket lotto um, type um, funds. But So yes, the answer is yes, but not um, in, in any great um, way. Second question is the... Uh, up to now, you have uh, secured for $2.8 million already. So how about the rebuild the task? Has been undertaken or not yet? You still waiting for another half a million, million dollars shortage? Uh, we can't wait. The, um, so the conditions of the loans, in one case, um, uh, 
puts down a starting point that we have to have started by a certain point, and the other one gives us a time when we have to have it finished. So we, we, we have no choice over, over delaying the project. We can only choose as to how we stage it within that process. But we, we would like to think that we've got enough contingency built into it that we can make it so that it will earn us an income once it's up at the level we do it. And if we have to increase or, or add more later, we will. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm afraid that's the end of the time for the deputation, but thank you very much for, for presenting. Uh, we move on to, sorry, item number four.